And by moral support, I mean Jordan's like, I want to go make some coffee. I'm like, thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. This week, everything is on fire. It's nice, loud, painful, explosive. Motorcycles. I don't know how you do intros, but I like to have a motorcycle jumping over me. It's kind of brilliant, man. <laughs> is is, is Fonzie riding it? And there, is there a shark <laughs> underneath you so that we can like have, we can literally say LGC jump on the shark? No, man. The sharks unionize. They're not. They won't come. I can't hire them anymore after I. <laughs> yeah, pl- yeah. I, I've I've seen that contract. If you want the ones with the laser beams on their head, that's like an extra twenty k too. That's... Right. They just show up with LEDs now, and you're like, you're not fooling me, one <laughs> shark. You're not even a real shark. And you pull the mask off, man. It, it's, it's kind of weird. Jim, it's Jim Belushi. <laughs> Um, (laughs) ladies and gentlemen i'm vin stone here at lgc actual switching the bits catching things on fire because we like to test in production and it's a great night to do it joined every week by our man up north from canadia one jones fong i'm jumping and the man staying up late past his bedtime you know him you love him on the island of britannia one pedro mateo and together with Clarice. you, join us live. <laughs> Shot Realm Dynamic, the most integral part of cocaine, Voltron. Man, so, uh, what was this, take three to go live? Well, we were, uh, the first time we were like, huh? The second time I, I was like, okay, let, let's, do, oh, I did it again. What I'm trying to do right now is um, get some NDI. I've forced NDI back into um, FFmpeg, maybe not as successfully as I thought, because, you know, simulations, <laughs> you run simulations for an afternoon, nothing goes wrong, you light everything up. So it's kind of weird. But that's what I've been up to, man. What have you been up to, Jordan? Oh, it's uh, no, nothing much. Working, I can go to the gym again. I'm killing my legs. That's the, That's it for me. I, I I did remember to click the Amazon affiliate link when making a large Amazon purchase, and you should too, because this is the yes. shilling segment and not the intro segment. <laughs> we we do have to point out that uh, <laughs> buying stuff through our affiliate links in no way supports the show because Amazon would get particularly cross with us if we said that. No. Yes. It doesn't, doesn't help go. us in any way, shape, or form. Nope. Uh-uh. No, sir. No, sir. Anything going on in um, Britannia outside of it just being warm? It's stupid warm, like 35C, like the whole week. <laughs> it's been, yeah, it's not been very nice. Uh, if you're watching the video version, you can probably tell that I'm sweating profusely. <laughs> He's so shiny. It was, all, it was all right when I didn't have to have a shirt on. But, you know, Twitch kind of frowns on the whole not wearing a shirt <sighs> thing. So. Where, where are we at with getting Pedro some pasties? <laughs> I, I was i was i was literally just gonna suggest like having him shirtless but like color in his skin with like a sharpie or something just, just let nori go to town with a black like permanent marker yeah 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 <laughs> give, give, give him like a permanent t-shirt yeah i'm, I'm down with uh, that. like those uh ones that smell of alcohol yeah <laughs> oh no no and it's like hello i, I, I i'm from the tattoo parlor <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I saw a the, t-shirt size tattoo. Yeah, we could just as long as someone else Arba. pays for it, it'd be great. No, no, just no, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna steal this from Thirty Rock, but you should get like a seatbelt tattooed over, like across your body, so that you can like drive shirtless and not get pulled over. Don't drive shirtless, man. That's exactly what happened to our horse, who can never get up. Yeah, it lost his arms and its legs in Vietnam, driving a, a car with a seatbelt tattooed. It's the sea. Flick that stick, baby. Flick it good. Man, I'm glad that intro went off without a hitch, guys. Yeah, no cuts in between whatsoever. No, sir. Seamless. Seamless. So, we get to flick sticks, man. A little bit of news. Just the Steam Clamp Peter. A little bit of update on the fifth, man. They've added support for using whatever a flick stick and mouse joystick modes with Steam Input API games. 
Okay. I looked that up. Sexy. It, it, it's actually really nice. See, if you have a controller that has both a gyroscope and an accelerometer, uh, you can use the six axis to do very precise, fine movements with the mouse, like looking up, looking down, or looking slightly off to the side, while the uh, right analog stick just does the uh, 360 look around. Hmm. That's... Yeah, the yeah <laughs> the, the 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 switch does that by default and like when you're playing brush it actually makes like playing shooters on a console like doable because you can do like the macro dash adjustments with the uh, joysticks and the micro yeah. adjustments with your uh, accelerometer the it's, dude it's... who made flick stick was actually playing uh counter-strike global offensive and he was doing better than i do with the mouse with the controller it's like huh Okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they, 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 they have another fix under Linux for this release, too. Uh, apparently, if you clear your download cache, it'll actually do something. Oh, man. Have, have, have any of you actually tried that? <laughs> I don't think I've actually cleared my Steam download cache no. ever. And if I did, it'd be like, RMRF folder. All right, we're done. <laughs> I've already learned not to trust your buttons, Valve. Uh, <laughs> since I just yeah. want to throw this out here, man, because um, I know I have a very non-traditional monitor setup to where my number one monitor is here followed by actually it works there's a second one here then the third one's here it always wants to put it on where it would logically assume monitor number one should be when i open the buddy list that window always gnome task manager you're guilty of that too that's the other program that does can, you, can we fix that so it goes to the one set as the primary display instead of looking at like uh zero zero no <laughs> damn it no it's usually the leftmost monitor is the one that things spawn in that's <laughs> that's just linux for you <laughs> uh sometimes yeah. it does sometimes it doesn't man but uh do we have anything else to say about that before we go into tinker launching yeah, the on-screen keyboard, which actually works really well with the uh, Steam controller, with the mm -hmm. areolas, uh, they uh, they have uh, the compositing fix on that on NVIDIA systems now. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I was genuinely surprised how good that keyboard is. So, you know, good, good on you for, like, maintaining it. Um, yeah, so, yeah, t like Ven said, Tinker Launch! Yeah. So this... So this is uh, from Frostworks. Uh, the link to this GitHub's in our show notes, along with all the other stuff. Uh, so it's a Xenity-based GUI for Steam optimizations. So you can stick that as a prefix in your uh, in your Steam Pipe. game. Yep, and um, there you go. It'll it'll bring up a window. You can select a bunch of optimizations. You can kind of think of it as sort of like a wine tricks, but for more mm -hmm. more things. It it'll handle optimizations for like various proton versions, uh, so on and so forth. More just more stuff that you have to like cram in the prefix. This is a manager for it, so it's pretty handy. Hmm. It is, and it's literally three letters that you type into the uh, launch box before you know percentage command percentage. Instead of having a chain of environment variables to disable eSync, uh, use wind 3 d do this, do that, do the other. It's like, okay, if you're having to scroll to the side to be able to see your custom, st your custom Steam game launch options, probably would have been nice to have something like this, but hey, it's here and... Yeah, no, fuck the hell yes. Like, three letters. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. No, oh, man. Pretty, uh, pretty handy. Yeah. That looks like something that, that's in that... Oh, man, that's neat. I'll forget to use it. Yeah. I, yeah. I downloaded I, it, but I'll probably never remember to use it. Well, like, that, well, that's the thing, though. It's like, I always forget, like, what, like, Proton, No, E-Sync, D3D, whatever. Like, you know, mm -hmm. I always end up having to look up what those environment variables are. If there's, like, a little handy little thing that I got to, like, do once, click this, click this, this click box. this. There, yeah, done. <laughs> fan fantastic. That, that, that's great. We need more tools like this. That is true. Uh, what do we get up? Do we got some game updates? Yeah, we, we do. do. Uh, Mix the it first up. one is one that I have been uh, very much looking forward to, and I said that when Primal Light released, maybe the people behind Blasphemous will do something about their Linux version, and they did. They actually put out an update uh, for the Stir of Dawn, the new uh, bit of free DLC. If you have the game, it's free. You already have it. You can just go play the new areas. But the big one uh, that they say the Linux and Mac versions that they promised during their Kickstarter, yes, it was one of those, uh, they ran into some issues, but they're coming out with both the st the uh, Linux and Mac versions will be coming out on September 3rd. So oh, I'm so happy. I thought yes, that was a picture thank of you, you please. 
<laughs> Looks uh, about as lanky. <laughs> Apparently yeah. Brett wasn't looking at his gorged crotch, man. I don't have any of that. <laughs> well, I, I mean, like, well, here, here, here's the thing, right? We, we, we we're, we're talking about games like this, like um, Into the Breach, right? Where they don't at this mm -hmm. point they don't have to actually release a Linux version because people are the people who wanted to buy it and play it on Linux are playing it on Proton. It's nice that they did it though. Can I mean that that deserves some credit. Mm -hmm. And actually, they had a Linux version already. It had issues. Yes, it did. I did a stream of it last year at some point uh and it's like okay there are issues but the game is playable and i almost mm. got to the end of it on the native linux version that had its own separate depot on steam but now i can actually finish it so that that's good <laughs> no man that's definitely cool i i wish this was already out and working with the linux version because it was 50 percent off i believe because i got a steam notification I'm like yes i just assumed i did the maths in my head and i'm like because it was like six months ago, Pedro played it, and Pedro was like, it's going to be coming out any minute now, the Linux version. That's and what they said. Hey, man, I'm just, <laughs> this is what I'm thinking. So I hit the thing, and I'm like, I'm just going to buy it then. And no Linux version yet. I was like, aw. So I didn't buy it. I'm that guy. Rare. Don't don't worry. There's going to be another sale in like two days. It'll be oh like yeah, man. I was looking through some specials just randomly yesterday, and I'm like, these prices are better than the Steam sale. This is why people don't mm -hmm. buy so much shit anymore. Right? Hey. Yeah. If you, if you don't like the price, wait a week. It's yeah. probably going to be. <laughs> but uh, something that did get an update, kind of out of nowhere, is uh, King Beast. Man, it's that weird Jello game from the fine Chunder double five wheel. people. Chunder wheel. Chunder wheel. You basically flail around. No one really knows what they're doing, but eventually somebody wins. It's kind of brilliant like that. Mm -hmm. So, the big update. They've updated Unity, man, from 2017 to 2019. So that means RIP. 32-bit goodness. Um, yep. However, if you do opt in to the public beta, they forgot to... Maybe they fixed it now, but they forgot to uh, rename uh, Beast X8664. So... And the launcher, so you just get to change the name of the executable, and you will be completely sorted. Outside of that, it launches. I, I didn't have anyone to play with, so I didn't uh, tangle with it too hard. Yeah, I, I mean, th there's like a lot of fixes in here too. Um, they've been they've been working pretty hard on it. Uh, they've fixed a lot of stuff involving like fists not extending when you grab and making sure that levels are especially treacherous, so you accidentally fall off while you're trying to, like, Don't maneuver someone else off. it, man? Like, you paid for the room and, like, the extra stuff at the hotel, the fist doesn't extend. You're like, oh. Well. <laughs> I, I know, right? You, I you wanted gotta... to get punched in the face. What are you talking about? How, how <laughs> that, extend? That, that, that. It's like, lose the watch. <laughs> Well, no, no, because then you got to pay like extra for the fist extended warranty, and that's just that's just no good. I don't I don't want to pay the extra like five dollars for that. Screw that noise. Fair point. Also, also I, I Chunder Wheel man. At the very end of that that post, they just have like Chunder Wheel. I don't know what the fuck it is, but I love it. It's uh, if you go look at these Steam store page, they they're hanging off the Chunder it's a wheel. wheel. Yeah, Chunder <laughs> Wheel. Like Chunder Wheel. Ferris Chunder Wheel. wheel. <laughs> And this is one of the few times that I'm genuinely not even a little bit um, exaggerating as to every time I've played Gang Beast, like I flail around and eventually it says, so I have all idea what I'm supposed to be doing in the game. It's like marble racing in a way where like you can be you can be rooting on it. You, you, can, you can try as hard as you want. It has no real impact, but it makes you feel like you have an impact. Right. It's purely mm -hmm. psychosomatic. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. So this is like, really, this got an update, eh? Yep, West of Loathing, and if you have been playing, or you used to play, uh, The Kingdom of Loathing, you probably know that these guys, when they get into a game, they keep it up for years. But yeah, this is version 1.11.11.11.1, or, yeah, it's the three-year update. Uh, they, uh, yeah, they have a bunch of new stuff, they've added a bunch of new content to certain specific areas of the game, nothing like major, but there's characters who were supposed to be there at the start that weren't, but now are. Uh, there, there's new interactions you can have with certain specific characters, uh, some of which uh, may or may not <laughs> completely impact how you play the rest of the game. It's, yeah, I was actually going through my library <laughs> earlier. It's a great trailer. It is. Yeah. It's so good. <laughs> 
I was going through my library uh, er earlier in the uh, in the week as I was sorting out some of the games into the collections, right. and I saw this. It's like, yeah, I finished it, but I really liked playing this game. I should go back and play some more. And I think they heard me because it's like a couple of days later. Oh, here you go. There's a new update with new content. I was like, all right. Screw me then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the loathing is like, it is a surprisingly deep RPG for something with stick figures. And it's it's one of those games like, man, I need to get back to that because I, I was enjoying that game and then I just get sidetracked by something else. This but is all completely if, fair. And I will say this, man, as deep as it is, I powered through all the nonsense that I don't care about in turn-based strategy because it's so fucking well done and it's fucking, like, it's got a good it's sense hilarious. of humor. Yeah, it's just <laughs> out there, man. <laughs> yeah it, well it, done. It, 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 it is a very good game if you haven't played it go play it it's it's great yeah. but if you but if you think <laughs> that's a long time for something to keep getting updated oh, oh sweet dog would like a word with you because it's even icewind dale uh never winter nights though it also got an update the development bill 81 93 14 is out it's got a new lighting engine and uh, they have a little link in the uh, post that goes to their website where they have some comparison shots it, they do the, like the picture slider thingy uh you could actually have a look at that and it does look so much nicer um the it's like the new one is on the right and the old one is on the left and it's like yes lighting actually works properly on reflective materials now <laughs> here uh they also it, added new water rendering and um a new options ui which is you forgot so about the detailed. grass man the grass oh yeah it's all there's, rendered there's now. a new grass renderer as well <laughs> But yeah, no, the options menu, if you actually, if you start, if you opt into the development builds and you start the game, the options menu is insanely detailed. Like everything that you would only be able to change in the INI previously is now like a tick box that you could select and edit. Mm. Evil Jello. Jello. Yep. Yeah. Evil, uh, e evil Jello, man. Gelatinous it's a D &D staple. <laughs> yep. <laughs> The, and uh, uh, yeah, th that that's actually one of the things that they changed. They changed some of the creatures to look uh, more like they should in third edition. So they, if you go in, if you've played Neverwinter Nights before, and you know what goblins look like and what dryads look like, you go in. It's like that. That's different. That's why. <laughs> I gotta ask a question I, I, that's on everybody's mind though. Did they make this a tog something you can talk a lot at off? Because I know some motherfuckers are out there probably angry. I'm like, this is ruining the classic <laughs> ecstatic of this retro gaming experience. Well, you can always, uh, you can always just play the original one on God. So, yeah, there's no toggle yet. But oh. I, they might introduce one. <laughs> you know what? Let's cover it when they drop this official and they don't make a way to revert <laughs> back. Because I want to get the popcorn and we can sit around the campfire. Indeed. I mean, I mean, like, the, the, the visual improvements, they really remind me of, like, Quake 2 RTX versus, like, Quake 2, right? That like, was, I, I had not had a chance to take a look at that until just then. I'm like, damn. All right. Yeah. That, yeah that's like, a noticeable upgrade. That's not like, it, oh, look, there's, like, three light sources now. And I was like, no, you did some material work on that. They, they they did um the other the other big thing that i really appreciate is they fixed the fucking pathfinding because pathfinding <laughs> yeah. in everwinter nights is bad so it's bad like you tilt the camera it's like oh there's a thing there you click on it and your character goes straight into the wall <laughs> or, or or like or like it gets stuck on some random artifact on the ground and just like i'm walking forever <laughs> oh no yeah all right right on right on um uh, what do we have? We, two we, new games to talk two about. Two new games. Right. Yeah, th this 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 one isn't out yet. It's uh, coming out Tiba. It is contingent, an action RPG set in Roman Britannia. Um, maybe you can play as Rory. We don't know. We don't know a lot about this game because can there's I play no... as Hadrian's Wall? Yeah, you you absolutely can. <laughs> there's, there's no there there is no gameplay footage. We had a lot of like pretty lighting scenery. We got like a picture of a dude's back. Um, it's based on the description. It kind of reminds me of like Brutal Legend because it's a hybrid of like RPG action with like squad management stuff. That was not um, that was a controversial choice on Double Fine's part. Maybe I thought you were going to say it good because yeah, that was a stealth RPG. You didn't realize. Uh, I mean, it was like stealth TBS, man. You didn't realize until you were deep in the game. You're like, oh, what? 
Yeah, uh, but I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it can make it work. We don't know. Again, we know very, very, very little about this game, aside from the fact that apparently spiders developed it. Binary spiders. We're working on recommended specs for containment. Uh, all right. So, Pedro, Pedro <laughs> did, did your um, uh, pre-made assets uh, senses tingle a little bit? Yeah, a okay. little bit, because I was looking at the trailer. It's like... I've seen that village before. And then I went to look up the Unity um, like asset demonstrations that they have because you it's like a little pack that you download and you run it. Mm -hmm. and it's like, oh yeah, those uh, those houses that you see dotted around the, uh, the trailer and the screenshots, they're lifted directly from the Viking village oh. um, demo. Just... Mm. Wait, Vi Done. Vikings in Roman area Brit Britain? No. 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 <laughs> Just, uh, this is, it might as well be sci-fi at that point. Right. Uh, but no, it's the exact same buildings as my point. I, 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 know, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, Pedro. Come on, you gotta remember, Pedro works in tech support, so he, just, he, he defaults to, like, that. Like, Being overly specific, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's I, I, I mean, I, I have Asperger's. I have an excuse. <laughs> September Serious. Sam. Yeah, uh, it's coming out in September. Serious Sam 4. Is it coming out for Linux? Fuck no. Yay. Gotta get that Stadia Wait. port up Boo. and running first. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm team give Crow Team the benefit of the doubt. They've been good to us as, as far as Linux goes. Um, I'm sure they will release something eventually because their entire engine is cross-platform. Uh, they, they, they would not have been able to get this on Stadia if that were not the case. So may, maybe we just got to be patient. But September is the, the time it's coming out. I'm looking forward to it. I might burn a heretic purchase on it because I've been, I've been waiting for this game for a while. Now, actually, I, 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 I'll talk a little smack to you if you can't wait. No, you, this, this is the combo of like Crow Team and Devolver. The chances of there not being a Linux port, I would not put money on yeah. that. But you, you're, you're just going to have like FOMO and give them some coins yes. out of the box? <laughs> yes, I... I... <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not going to say that joke. That's too offensive for God, Twitch. Um, God. Progress. <laughs> <laughs> Indulge in the FOMO journey. Tune into the pre-pre super shows. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. I, I, yeah, for, for sure there's going to be a Linux version. For sure, though, I'm pr I'm pretty sure that the Windows version is not going to be using DX12 either, so you're going to get the good Vulkan pass-through under Wine as well, so it'll oh, yeah. be fine. I mean, the, the first Vulcan thing that, you know, serious game outside of like a Technobone we saw was from Crow Team, and that's because they're Croatian psychopaths, and they love doing stuff like that. <laughs> Like in, indeed, I, I I mean if 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 you're gonna have an engine that supposed supposedly supports having hundreds of thousands of entities on screen at, discreetly acting at the same time, yeah, you're gonna need to use the low level well, API it, that works. It, on it says a lot about the culture and the internals at Crow Team because that's still the development house of like, oh, new shit, let's go fuck <laughs> with it, as opposed yeah. to ah, oh, get it away, <laughs> it doesn't have a GUI. I, I would say the in terms of like engine stuff, these guys are on par with like your id softwares and whatnot. Like they're they're really obsessed with like the low level stuff with the optimization. So I'm 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 looking forward to this. I want to see like millions of rah, head exploding guys at yeah. once. That's gonna be terrifying. It's gonna be great, man. All Beheaded right. kamikazes. <laughs> Indeed. Coming up next, we finally have a way to get around easy anti cheat under Linux, and Lutris has brought it to you. Good enough. Oh. We are a classy bunch here at Linux Gamecast. We are. Did, I know what you're thinking right now. You just spent, what, 15, 20 minutes uh, talking out your butts? Hell uh, no. I was watching live. <laughs> I watched you fuckos cock things up for a solid hour. <laughs> hey, I was well, talking out of my belly button. If you were watching us live, then you have even more ammunition to call me out on my bullshit. But hey, that is for the uh, hate mail, which is still coming don't you worry okay right now we need to chill out for your love not for your hate or Ugh. your love hate wow that literally just made me vomit <laughs> head on over to 
over to linuxgamecast.com. Put your mouse over the support button. We, we, got, we got some links for you to follow. Patreon, Libra Pay. Yeah, but, we got, yeah. we got uh, uh-uh. PayPal. We got Wishlist. We got Bitcoins. Best way to support us is click that Patreon link. Head on over to patreon.com slash linuxgamecast. Where you can buy in and then get ask, uh, ask us access to the Discord channel. Jeez, you got to be careful. I thought you, you were going to say access. asterisks. And I'm like, <laughs> asterisks are expensive, yep. man. You will get all of our asses. We'll just mail Correct. them to you. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, a uh, dollar, you get access to the Discord channel a little bit more. You get access to the show notes. It's great because you can yell at us during the week while we're putting the show together and tell us that we're wrong mm-hmm. where you don't have to wait to the hate mail segment. That's for plebs or for people who love us. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, what else? If you're a Patreon, you get access to the pre pre super shows in where you can listen to us debug network problems. <laughs> Or Ben debug network problems and me just making fun of him while he's doing it. It's um, great, man. It's it's just a I, I'm a wash with moral support from everyone while I am like doing time critical stuff. It's great. It it it, it is. It's fantastic. Uh we got we got wish lists. Um, and by moral support, I mean Jordan's like, I'm gonna go make some coffee. I'm like, thanks, bro. <laughs> if you wanted a coffee, you should have asked. I would have poured it on the webcam and <laughs> buy yeah, some shirts. We, yeah, buy buy some t-shirts that you can spill your coffee on or buy some stickers to cover up the coffee stains that you have spilled on your shirts. <laughs> I, Do oh, whatever no. you want. Okay, so that's why people walk around with stickers on their shirts. Right, yeah, they <laughs> yeah. Sp- <laughs> spill coffee on them. Um we 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 got uh we got a wish list as well. Um if you buy stuff on the wish list, you can send us a little note. You can buy Ven a PlayStation 5. Oh yeah. Oh, it's only <laughs> yes. it's only $100. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah but but you can you can you can send us a note that we have to read on air within reason uh Speaking if which, you send stuff to uh oh we got we got some stuff i got one man um oh hmm. something showed up it did look at it can you see it i, I, I got another tin from tin. my cho- chocolate <laughs> mm. yes this is a 850 nanometer uh multi-mode lc to lc fiber optic transceiver because linux neuro did something As I a, respect. <laughs> got, got, got a job and sent you some stuff. <laughs> I'm just happy for that. <laughs> this, this, however, Jordan, I respect because it's just the one. Not, 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 not two. Just not, just not two or the cable. <laughs> it's just the nice principle. Fuck you because that's why one. And I'm not being facetious, man. I was like, oh, well, well played, sir. Well played. <laughs> But he did send a uh, a little note, a limerick, if you will. Oh, we'll have to rate it on YouTube. Roses are red, violets are blue. How did Frank die? Was it Carol from Lennox Nero? You gonna take Carol, it, Frank? If you don't know, it's better you not find out. Is it is it like Frank's sister or ex wife or both? Can't say. Okay. Frank, well, Frank, I'm under Frank's an FDA. Secretly a Lannister. <laughs> You're I'm under a, an FDA. The yep. Food and Drug Administration. Nah, dude. Frank disclosure agreement. Ah. <laughs> I thought I, I thought it stands for fuck that ass. No. Um. <laughs> and, 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 and 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 and. Anyways, let's 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 go to the news. Let's talk, let's talk about. Let's talk about some Lutris. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh wait, uh, no, you, you, story. <laughs> I, I know I'm, I'm just letting everyone watch because <laughs> you know when when you have small breakdowns it is entertaining. <laughs> that that uh, caught me slightly off guard. <laughs> right. Um, so, G, GeForce Now, it's that streaming service that doesn't belong to Steam or Google uh, that's been around uh, longer than both of theirs. Um, and apparently it is the best option in terms of, you know, latency, input, whatever. Oh, um, so it's like one of those streaming things. Yes, a game streaming service. Does it work under Linux? It does now, oh, thanks shit. to uh, thanks to Strider. Uh, they have some GeForce Now integration. Um, there was also, uh, it, it showed up later in the week, but uh, Dixfix is also having built in some support for GeForce Now as well. But uh, you Matthew, theoretically should Matthew, be able- Matthew, Matthew, did, did you Ooh. look at the text on my site and go, I'll have me some of that? 
Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Welcome back There's to zero the contrast, contrast to cast. because fuck you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it it, may, it makes sense that Lutris would support this because, like, for a lot of EAC enabled games, this and Stadia are kind of really the only way to play these games reliably under Linux. Um, based on the comments, though, some folks are having issues. I'm sure Strider is working on it because he is constantly pushing stuff to his branches and so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, like it, it's it's another option in the in the tank now, which is good for us gives us some more variety in terms of our game streaming services which is going to be the future of gaming you're never going to be able to own stuff anymore it Goodbye. is man uh i saw that and i'm I was surprised it took this long because we know um matthew much like linus himself is a massive fan of nvidia and all the work so you know it's good to see that match made in tartarus come together um <laughs> that that's pretty cool though isn't it pedro it is and um one of the things i notice is if you scroll all the way down no. there's only a change me at a test now but uh <laughs> two days ago when i went there it was change me change me change me change me test oh that's bump <laughs> Pedro, you sound surprised. You're this you're clearly someone who does not work with Git a lot because I as someone who works with Git quite a bit, I can tell you most of my commit messages are test, 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 fuck, 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 test, uh, test. And then the actual change I made once it's working. Feel free to A to clip that out. B, uh Matthew said we need to think Tannis. C, I'm also starting to suspect maybe you have someone held against their will working on your web zone. Good old, good old yes. Tannis route. So <laughs> they're trying to send us messages yes. because it was longer and shorter now, so mm. something happened. And, who knows? In, indeed, we also got to thank Alexandra Abragal. Ab, Abgal? Abgral? Sure. I'm, bu I'm butchering that, according to Strider. So thanks a lot. Yeah. Uh, Stratagella. Stratagella. How, how, do you, how do you say this word? Stratagella? Stratagella. <laughs> no, you stop at the two because fuck that. It's, um, it, 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 it's like an Italian ice cream, right? It's, you know, yeah, the chocolatey bits. Keep going. I didn't say stop. <laughs> now I want ice cream. God damn it! Now I'm hungry. Ah <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Basically, this is a couple things. Uh, the big one: rework the GUI launcher, and there's now toggles for all the mods plus more bug fixes, then you can shake a chocolatey banana at. And there's a little bit of a warning, Jordan. It's about SDL2, because if you have 206, uh, Linux has a fatal bug in the audio conversion code, but I don't think that's going to be an issue, huh? I mean, maybe maybe if you're on like an older version Debi of Debian or Sun, I mean, the current version of uh, SDL2 is on 2012, so you'd be about six mm -hmm. releases behind. It's not entirely infeasible that you would be running an old, such an old version of SDL2, but, you know, may maybe it's time to upgrade. Ubuntu 1804? <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if it's uh, 206 or 205, but... It's one of them. <laughs> well, well, well. So actually, two two oh five is good. It's just in two. Apparently, two oh six has the problem, and it's fixed in. Is it's it just fixed in two oh seven. Is is that legitimately a skull with an ice cream scoop on its head? It is. It is because okay. yes, it's a stracciatella scoop on its head with the yeah, it's, it's, it's a it's it's a type of gelato. <laughs> And oh, now we're now, all ice cream experts. Okay, my bad. I mean, <laughs> I didn't I, get the memo. Of, of, of all the people here, I can. I'm probably the only person who can say they're an ice cream expert. I have eaten more ice cream than any of you. Credentials check out. Possibly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna go for diabetes test? Yes. Well, if we can't. Wilfred Brimley can't do it anymore. No, He's dead. No. He brought it to the yeah. max. He brought it to the max. Yeah, uh, Max uh, from Clay1984. Uh, again, links to all this stuff in our show notes. Uh, max is a engineering implementation for, uh, what was it? Max, Mechanized Assault and Exploration. It's an interplay old mech game. So we got more mech implementing goodness. And I, I have a soft spot in my heart for giant robots kicking the crap out of each other. So I like to see stuff like this. Um, so apparently, uh, apparently, according to this little post of his on his GitHub, a lot of the issues come from the fact that DOS is kind of a busted piece of shit, and the computers that used to run this game were too slow to see uh, the issue at any sort of frequency where it would crash, even when mm -hmm. the issue still exists. So on modern systems that are fast, it just it is super fast to crash. So um, with the next <laughs> release. Um, they're doing a lot of work to sort of put the groundwork in to identify why this is happening so that they can, in fact, fix it, um, which is a good thing. Um, 
That genuinely looks like a Dune 2 with this. Some texture yeah. swapped out. <laughs> I, I mean, it's a DOS game, right? There's, you can only really do so much. Like, I mean... Ma li like, make Dune 2. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Dune 2, First Age of Empires, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can get the, uh, all the assets War that you Warcraft. need for nine ninety nine on GOG. Yep. Come Indeed. On. Right on. Indeed. Get thrusty. And, uh, yes, sticking to GitHub, we have the Thrustmaster T150 Force Feedback Wheel. It has some proper Linux drivers now, because uh, in the past it used to use the generic... Oh, it's a steering wheel and it has Force Feedback, so it's going to I use those this is those for my drivers. calculator. This is bullshit. I only, <laughs> no. I only crunch numbers with a steering wheel, and by crunch them, <laughs> I mean run them over with my car. <laughs> But no, this uh, this uh, very much includes all of the functionality that the T150 force feedback wheel from Thrustmaster provides, including the uh, 1080 degree uh, wheel spin. That's two full spins one way and two full spins the other way. Uh, with the generic driver, you were stuck at 270, you know, which is like, like if you're doing like, don't you want like a little knob on it though, so you can. <laughs> I mean, depends on what you're used to because my Mazda 2, it used to be, it used to do the two spins, two complete spins one way and two complete spins the other. So if you're like m doing slow maneuvers, U turns and whatnot, yeah, you kind of need the two. You, you need to spin it right round, baby, you, like a record. Yeah, you, you spin it right round. <laughs> All right. But yeah, uh, this one enables that, and it also enables you to set just how sensitive you want the uh, auto centering of the wheel. Like, say you're turning at speed, and as soon as you hit the accelerator in a regular car, the wheels will tend to straighten out because the force is being applied forwards. So, it will now actually allow you to adjust just how quickly it um, does that. Okay, I just looked this thing up. Uh, to quote um, a gentleman and a scholar, "Damn, Daniel." Um, yeah, yeah. it is a steering wheel with force feedback. That's the about the price you're looking at. Well, so spe <laughs> speaking, speaking 3, of PlayStation three, PlayStation four, and PC. Yeah. So, so spe speaking of that, if you want to give this a try, it's direct input only. It says that right in the middle of the project. No X input for you. You got to make sure that it's in PlayStation mode. Um, and yeah, there may also be some memory <laughs> leaks. So if you're gonna use it, maybe turn on some swap before you give it give it a spin, as it were. Uh, but I mean, if you got to have the force feedback in your vroom vroom games, yeah. There, there's a couple of these projects trying to provide like these comprehensive drivers for these wheels. Well, he's which I think been is hammering on this one for some time, man, and he's like, mm -hmm. I want yeah. some more people testing this. So if you have one around you know spin it right around baby and um, maybe send a bug report if you run into something right indeed yeah. yep good <laughs> and uh well i guess the last one is just my um last yearly one. reminder Reason that uh last revolt one. gl <laughs> penultimate is not penultimate pedro oh it's the penultimate all right, all right. <laughs> i didn't last see that last one, one that uh... <laughs> But yeah, no, it's the penultimate one, uh, which is my yearly reminder that RVGL uh, revolts OpenGL re-implementation. That is Linux native, because what they did back in the day was they completely disassembled the original um, binary and then just recompiled it for everything. Uh, you can run it on Windows, Linux, Android. Uh, you can run it on the Odroids and the Open Pandora. And there's apparently there's an issue with the GPU drivers for the Raspberry Pi. So that's currently not available, but hey, you can try and get it running and try and get the Raspberry Pi to a point where it can run this because it's revolt it's uh it's, it's a racing, game, right? racing yeah it's an arcade uh rc car racing madness you it have like the open pandora can you it use does. your can you use your 200 dollars thrustmaster steering wheel to play it though mm. actually you can because it uses the, sdl too <laughs> does it have force feedback though it does, but it, you're limited to 270 degrees on the searing. Uh, oh. And it also works with, with the... Um, what are you talking about? <laughs> it Peasants? also works on the DualShock 4, um, which was a very nice surprise because I could never get this to work. Uh, or even the um, DualShock 2 back in the day with RVGL. But yeah, so, it uses SDL2 now, and it's a Python script that you run. As much as you bring this game up, like you're harping on it once every year. Um, how much of this have you played compared to your Need for Speed game this week? 
Uh, considering I've only been playing Need for Speed, uh, let's see. I mean, the one, the the one that you the, three the, months the, the, the one that you were late <laughs> on Wednesday because you were playing it. Yes, that one? <laughs> but I've only oh! been playing that game <laughs> uh, over the past three months because, uh, yeah, the, that's when the developer actually fixed it to make it work on Linux. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this week I played a lot more uh, Soapbox Race World or Need for Speed World. But yeah, this is still very nice and it's literally a script. You download the script, it installs and downloads everything by itself. You don't get the original music because that got... Uh, a bit of a license snafu attached to it, so they pushed that aside, but the rest of the game, have at. All right. <laughs> now, our last story. This comes submitted via Arthurin from Discord. You can do that if you're a Patreon. Yeah, that's right. P1X presents Hangover Game Jam 2018 Forgotten Island. Why are you talking? Because it's made in Libra Office. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's a PowerPoint, too. Like, it's straight up a presentation. It, but there, there's game logic in it, so all right. Fine. I just wanted to throw this in there. Maybe somebody's curious and they want to go play with it. Um, where are we at with that? I mean, we. I think. It, I mean, it's no flight simulator, right? <laughs> I know you don't go to like the ten million <laughs> cell and uh, type a specific well, string into it. Well, like that, that's the thing. We 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 talk a lot of smack about spreadsheet simulators, but what about a spreadsheet simulator that's actually a spreadsheet? It's in LibreOffice Calc. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, dude, you, you're dangerously close to probably like Frog Fractions 3, man. Right. It, it just keeps going deeper, right? <laughs> yeah. Dude. Uh, <laughs> that's the thing. Go check it out. Uh, it's Forgotten Island. It's on Itch. And I think it's completely free. It is. Along, because it's a. As long as you have a paid a, for, up to date, registered license version of LibreOffice. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> actually, I, actually if, if someone has a copy of it, try running it in Microsoft Office. Tell us what happens. Send us some hate mail. That'd be fun. Yep. There you go. That's a good way to test for compatibility. My game doesn't. Yeah. Oh, then <laughs> then Ooh, only you office. send only Microsoft office is a bug there report. <laughs> yeah. Do, do, do it. Send us some hate mail. I, I, I want to hear your feedback from that. Coming up next. It's time to get salty. So salty. God, I need a drink of water. Fuck. <laughs> I this has been an emotional roller coaster. Yeah, I have I've I've blue balls. I don't know if I'm supposed to start now. Welcome back to the Chairquisition. Uh this is where we review games. This week we're taking a look at Dendara Trials of Fear, developed by Long Hat House in Unity. You can pick it up for about $15 US. Uh was it? In a bizarre universe where the oppressed are on the brink of oblivion, Dendara has awoken to reshape the world. With you know salt. what you know what Steam store page? Well fucking done there. That yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's actually that's actually pretty solid. That was very, a good very, gift. <laughs> yep, indeed. Um, yeah. So, uh, I, I guess, I guess, let's get started. We have no mandatory disclosure list this week, so nope. let's get right into it. No, uh, ben, how'd, how'd this work on uh, the Debs? Hang on, let me mandatory scroll the hell out in the notes here for just a second. Uh, also, also, Pedro has disappeared <laughs> from that three, three shot. shot yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to raise the quality, man. It's true. Jeez. Give me a break. Fair, fair, fair. fair. Considering how long it took us all to notice, um, <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, how did it work on Debian 10.5? Out of the box, no issues whatsoever, and this is on a 1920X old school vintage thread ripping system with 32 gigajoules of RAM and a little toasty 2060 to display everything at UHD and 1080p. Speaking of that, it holds a solid 60 at 1080p and 2160p, aka UHD, aka not quite 4K. It has a low graphics setting. I noticed that. It's like, oh, okay. What's that for? It's a pixel game. I didn't press it. I was scared. No windowed mode. I did notice that because I streamed a little bit of it Friday. And what I ended up doing is just there's a little command you can put in for Unity titles, and it'll give you the screen of nope, but windowed. That worked. X clone controller out of the box. No problems. Even after the game started, some games don't do that. This one did. I was very pleased to see that. But we need to talk about the fun. Because... You know what, Jordan? At least you didn't have to play a platformer this week, because sort sort of ish, ish. <laughs> but I'm going to make this short and sweet, man. Uh, this is a hipster pixel done so damn right. It 
basically competes with the likes of Axiom Verge and Owlboy. And I don't say that lightly, man. And all of that is basically just shot to hell by the gimmick movement system thingy this game has, man. Jordan's going to compare it to another game, and he's absolutely right, but I'm not going to steal his chunder on that one. Chunder wheel. can basically, you can move to and from any marked area on the play field if you're watching the video. I mean, that, that that's your option right there. I get that the shortest point in a straight line, but you know what? Fuck that noise. It get old quick, man. Like in the first 10 minutes, it becomes clear that the limitation of your movement is used to keep you from accessing visible areas that you look at it and you're like, but I could get, I, you're like, fuck, backtracking. And the game's like, fuck yes, backtracking. Get used to it. Not a huge fan of that. I'm not a huge fan of that. But it's there. You got to deal with it. Um, none of the rooms that I ran into in my two hours of playing provided much of a challenge. They were slightly, slightly a pain in the ass, but you could power through them as you can watch my playthrough I did on Friday. And most of the rooms that you run into, kind of empty, man. I mean, you do run into the occasional baddie from a rather limited selection. Small cast on that. But uh, you do have a pew pew energy weapon. That power, you can upgrade it by collecting salt because that's how you upgrade things in this game. It's Dark Souls 2D. Health and other bits. Salt and Sanctuary. Can <laughs> get a boost as well. You know, you can get more apples to eat and they give you more hearts to have. However that works. Uh, every now and again, you know, the game cuts you some slack. It'll show you a camp or a flag, which is a checkpoint. And you're like, yay. <laughs> Because if you die, fuck you, fucko. Back to the beginning. Um, not completely, but close enough to where it's irritating. Two hours. I said I played that much. I had my fill with the game. I dig the pixel art. I mean, look at it, man. The She's got big feet. Big feet, man. You know what I'm saying? Big sucks. Um, navigating the level by summoning your in, like inner ricocheted bullet gets old with the quickness, man. I... <sighs> I'm not angry for what I paid for. This was like a mid-tier on the Humble Bundle. So like 7 or $8, whatever that was. I got my enjoyment out of it. I don't know if I'd recommend... <sighs> Part of me kind of wants to go back and just get through it to see what it's all about. Because, I mean, a lot of work went into the game. I think it's a beautiful game that has just been curb-checked at its ankles by that the movement mechanic. Because if this... It, maybe, Call me a traditionalist, man. I don't know, man. All I can say, sort of want two shares. That's the best I can do, lads. Uh, I don't really feel guilty giving it that. Yeah, on uh, Fedora 32 64-bit with the i7 6700K GTX and ATI, it launches and holds 60 at UHD sometimes. Uh, if you have, like, KDE, uh, KDE Connect or whatever, or, like, something that has desktop notifications, the minute one of those pops up, this game eats the poo-poo for several minutes and then goes back to normal. Uh, so maybe maybe turn off any notifications before playing this game. Um It will, yeah, that, the slowdown will kill you. That That's, that's what happens to me. Um... The DualShock 4 works out of the box. I don't know. I found the keyboard and mouse was a little more effective in terms of controlling it for me. We'll, we'll get to that in a little bit. Did you get Fun! some, some like, Jaffa Cree vibes? Of from the baddies house. with their, like, Egyptian oh, yeah. garb? Oh, 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 a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I can see that. I'm just like, damn you, Anubis. Stop wrecking my shit. Um... Fun way, so the game reminds me a lot of meets a little bit of Legend of Zelda, meets a little bit of Salt and Sanctuary. The movement is very similar to V, uh, but the game adds this sort of chargey shooting mechanic to it. So you can't like spam your attack. You got to time everything so that you can charge up your attack and do decent amount of damage. Um, the the it would be serviceable enough but like the controls really 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 hamper you it, does, it has this like aim assist feature that's really only helpful about 50 percent of the time with the controller everything feels like just super extra precise imprecise as you're flailing the stick about on a mouse it just means sometimes you'll focus on the wrong thing and get killed um they do give you some uh, difficulty scaling options vis-a-vis -vis, um, there are a bunch of empty rooms here that if you turn on the flat, uh, if you turn on that checkbox, uh, there will just have extra checkpoints in there. Um, you can also set a uh, you can also set it so that it will respawn you in the room that you died in. I turned those on and I ended up not having to use it. it apparently, the safety net was enough to like give me the confidence to you know do the thing. Um, 
But uh, it, you can turn them off at any point if you're finding that the game is a little too easy at that point, but the save game does get marked saying, you've done this so you can't brag to your friends about the high score. I really like the art style. I think, yeah, it's it's uh, the 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 art, the art production design is beautiful. Uh, the art is striking. The soundtrack is okay. I didn't really, a, a lot of it didn't really stick in my brain. But, and the story seems interesting enough. There's a lot of like nonverbal storytelling happening. The What you do get is not very precise. So it's a lot of like, hey, you have to kind of figure this out and piece it together. I like that style of storytelling. But again, like Fence said, the controls, not great. I'm gonna give it two chairs. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is for you. It's not for me. Yeah. Over here on uh, KD Neon with the... Um... Ryzen 7 3700X and the GTX 1080. It launched out of the box. It holds 144 FERPs at 2560 by 1440. It is the hipster pixeliest of hipster pixels. You can see it on screen if you're watching the video version. It looks the part. It looks absolutely very good. Uh, it is, uh, like Jordan said, it's developed by uh, Long Hat. And you can tell that they're Brazilian because the stop signs, they say pare. It's like, oh, you translated to stop signs, did you? Yeah, that that kind of gave you away. Uh, and not only did they go the extra mile to do that, they also made controllers work properly. Because the DualShock 4, even without Steam input on, it worked correctly and it had the uh, proper prompts. So, a very good job there. Uh, so, when it comes down to the game itself, you're a salty deity which can only uh stand in salt it borrows some dark souls elements uh like you lose your currency when you die and you have to go back to where you died to pick it back up uh you respawn at checkpoints with most of the progress that you've made intact all of the enemies respawn and yeah despite all the prevalence of salt the obvious comparison would be salt and sanctuary but no 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 it is still very much a me metroidvania in the sense that you need to unlock certain things you need to meet certain characters to enable you to do some things like enable the uh music boxes or the paintings uh in the buttons in some of the areas and then you can progress but it has yeah question, the Pedro. go ahead because it was about this time when it, the mechanic, I'm like, you know what? I, I can power through this mechanic because if you hold in the general direction, it's close enough. When it turned into a bullet hell, yeah, it that, can get that, fucked. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, 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 you do not you have first, that level of precise, precise movement at all. Uh, I think I recorded the, uh, the boss fight, uh, it, but yeah, I think that was later on. Um, but yeah, it is... The game itself, like the general mechanics, would be great if I could move like I want to move and not just do the teleporty move around from wall to wall only to the bits where there's salt sprinkled on it. Because that made me pretty salty because I like video games. I like to get immersed in a video game. I know that's kind of a faux pas to say nowadays, but it's like, oh, immersion, brr. But I, I do like that. I like when a game lets me get into it and I forget everything else. This one, I kept being reminded that I was playing a video game because I couldn't move how I wanted to move, and that doesn't really do anything for me. It's, yeah, you go around, you teleport from place to place, you shoot some things, you do, uh, you talk to some NPC, or you have NPCs dump a bunch of text on screen. But, yeah, no, the, the game ended up, even though it has a lot of elements from other games that I did, like very very much it i didn't like this two chairs i i got a question for you because i noticed this about yeah. like when, when whenever whenever you uh when whenever you enter an area that like now you can access because you unlock the thing or you talk to the person mm -hmm. there's there's always that area where it just takes you back to like that other area that blocked you off originally and you're like okay well now i'm here is there anything else i can like, discover no mm -hmm. this is just to show you how fucked you were and now now you can use it as a shortcut maybe if you care about yeah that. you're being led by the nose through the whole thing it's very very linear there is some backtracking but it's completely optional well, well not, not even that the, the 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 backtracking is very telegraphed it's very clearly like oh there's no salt here yeah. this means i'm gonna have to come back here at some point well there's also that and there's like a 50 50 reward system because if i go exploring on my own give, give me a little chest or something at the end don't don't show me something i just can't fucking get because i'm like I just wait. now i have to go back and there's nothing here 
Yeah, the, the, the gameplay loop here definitely leaves something Because I'm a whiny bitch. See, I'll save somebody a comment. <laughs> I mean, we're all, we're all whiny bitches. This yeah. is whiny bitch cast. That's right. Coming up next, <laughs> we get even whinier in the hate mail segment. Woo! Woo! Whiny bitch! Chances are you are pretty salty after watching that. So why don't you go on over to LinuxGameCast.com, hit the contact button, fill out the form. Let us know just how salty you are and why you got pretty salty. Or call us out. Chances are we got something wrong during the episode. So <laughs> there's your chance, I suppose. Oh. I could do this all day. Keep going. There's, there, there's a lot of R's happening right now. <laughs> but, Rated yeah. R. If you are a game developer and you'd like to uh, let us have a look at your game, by all means, do send us three keys or a bill that we can Curator share. Curator Connect. Somebody sent us something. Curator Connect. Yep. I, don't, I have <laughs> fuck all idea what it was because Valve and their in infinite wisdom is like, somebody sent you something. Yeah. The, right. The, you the, have a, a key waiting for you. It's like, okay. Can, what? The, the, this, this, this is literally just to drive up big picture mode usage because I don't want to have to log into Steam on another browser. It's true. It's 100% true. Why is there a curator option in the Steam client? That's like two seconds to add. Come on. Uh, so I'm, I'm salty. Andrew, Andrew writes in with 64 Dukes, man. Uh, just you know, throwing back a little love our way. It's weird. We don't know what to do with this, but he says, thanks for the DN64 heads up. Didn't know support was there. Repulled and rebuilt and hell. Yeah. It works great too. Hmm. Well, you know, is that a tweet? It, no, <laughs> no, because there's, there's no send tweet at the end. Um, but, what but, it is, but, but, Pedro, but is fucking mysterious. What does the two mean? <laughs> yeah, it's a conspiracy, man. <laughs> well, I, I, I mean, it, 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 it's good to see that when you compile a 64-bit binary on a 64-bit system, it will run on set 64-bit system. That's good stuff. Well, it's good to know it works. I mean, I honestly did not have the morbid curiosity of seeing like um, N64 goodness on my PC. I was like, yeah, no. Uh, if, I, I, if, I, I, if I want that, I'll just play Achilles' pork Turok. Pork. Right? Like, pork. Yes. Achilles' pork. pork. It's like a dinosaur pig. It runs around and it breathes fire <laughs> and it screams, kill me. Kill. I will play parts. with Achilles' pork. <laughs> Someone clip that, please. No. Send that to Icky Butts. Don't do it. And by don't do it, I mean hurry up. He, he, he goes to bed pretty early these days. Time's a ticking. <laughs> Monolalia? Monolalia, yes. Hey, I got something right. Take it away, Jordan. All right. Well, we, 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 we got a response to something. They were nice enough to include a timestamp on this, too. They Thank say, you. No, yes. no, no. Thank you. Hang it, on. I, we, we, yeah. we, we, we just need to address that. Yes, true. Because you, you might be watching it for the first time of something we did earlier in the show. We have fuck all idea. Yeah. Uh, what? And this it's was been a, a few couple hours. weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A couple of weeks, no idea. Drop that timestamp or like mention what you're addressing sometimes. If you could, yeah. that'd be great because that greatly increases your chance of ending up. Context. Mm. Context. All right. So, <laughs> Monolalia, they're saying, no, 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 no. It was like giving the Linus Torvald Awards. The Pre Software Association is a bit like giving the Han Solo Award to the Rebel Alliance because, I suppose, he sees Linus as a mercenary and not as a free software idealist. But who is the Chewbacca of Linux? <laughs> That guy deserves a real medal. <laughs> but uh, this is addressing the, well, it was addressing my misquoting of the <laughs> um, thing that uh, Richard Solomon said when he was awarded the Linux Award. And uh, he's like, oh yeah, giving me the Linus Torvalds Award uh, is like... I, at the time, said uh, giving George Lucas the Han Solo Award, but apparently I got that a little bit off. Apparently it's the Rebel Alliance, not George Lucas, so my bad. <laughs> that, that's it. <laughs> that, 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 that's it. How dare you? 
<laughs> Some, someone, all right, no, well, now we're going to freeze you in carbonite. No, I, I had to, like, my brain just had to do some gymnastics because I, I posted in the Discord. It's like chewy. And I saw the gift pop up. I'm like, oh, somebody made I was like, oh, no. Somebody didn't that, make Well, somebody technically made that. <laughs> but that was only aired once. Um, once, yeah. The, 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 the lumpy puppet, man. Lumpy. Lumpy isn't real. He can't hurt you. Lumpy. <sighs> I do look believe. The, it's got the human teeth, man. <laughs> no. Why does it have human teeth? No, look. No, bad touch. No. No, 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 no. On that bombshell. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get in hold, get in hold, man. Chewy, chewy of nightmares. Have fun with that tonight, subconscious. Uh, if you want to get a hold of me, I'm at Vince Stone. On Twitter at Vin at mass.lenuxgamecast.com. We got a Mastodon instance. Come mast your way over there. It's full of sea shanties and vampires. Speaking of mastication, I'm Jordan Svung. I have human teeth. And you can follow them at the Burning Fool on Twitter. And I suppose I'm special because I'm one of those really annoying assholes that managed to get all four wisdom teeth with no major problems. I am Pedro Mateus. You can find me at unaccounted for on Twitter. They had to saw through my jaw, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have to pay I extra got for that? <laughs> no. no. Well, yeah, well, I, well. I, I, I paid the fucking iron price, hopped up on heroin for a week in bed. <laughs> Let's roll some credits. Hang on. Oh, maybe. There it is. Needs more human teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking horrifying. Horrifying like our executive producers. You know them. They're the party patrons. They're like Arthurin and Empty and the Atomic Ass and Mike G, Bob Remt, Aldius, Magik, Scott, Frostclaw, Drummer, Mr. Fox Teeth, and the Only Teeth. <laughs> the Only Teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Alert, Mad Mike, Massivoni, Nicole, David Kyle Linux, Smashly G, Michael, North Ranger, Nigal, Jolly, Tapical, Gaius, Matthew. Is it that Matthew? Brilliant. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> there's, there's several Matthews. There's two Martins. <laughs> Steve. Um, Martin, Mr. Martin. Amish. Go X 4D underscore comma. <laughs> Captain Zero. Living Power Zero. Shell, baby. Abstraction. Dust Geek. Dodger. <laughs> Hey Not man, if you want to plug at the end of the credits, <laughs> you can sub to us on Patreon too. It's you can cheap. join the esteemed peerage of Nixon's Pyramid and PowerShell on Linux. Yep. Get, get creative. Library.tv at Linux, uh, Nixon's Pyramid or PowerShell on Linux.com. Like, find your favorite hostel. Five dudes. <laughs> <laughs>